Actually, let's go back to browse issues. So let's say you're looking at this list of issues and you see that your topic is not listed here. So for example, I want to do a search on the border wall, for example. I see that there is a US borders topic, but the border wall is not listed under B and I don't see anything that says United States and Mexico border wall, for example. So then I would go to my search bar here, which I can do my search here or I can go back to the home page and do my search there. Either way, and I can type in the search that I want to do by typing in border wall, for example. There are some other options listed there that I can choose from, such as Trump's border wall or Mexico border wall or US Mexico border wall any of those I'm gonna just stick with border wall for now to see what that gives me and when I click on my search it will give me results for that search it will try its best to match with what I've typed in and give me something related to that so you'll see that the results are not as many as with the main topics that are listed in the database as we saw for infectious diseases there were many many more um, but you can always try your search by typing in by keyword I can always modify this search by adding to it so Trump's border wall for example and see if that changes anything so it did reduce the source types I can also try US Mexico border wall again different results I can try US Mexico relations and I'll get different results each time so this is to say that you should try different search terms different keywords but also if you don't see your topic listed in the primary browse issues section, you can always type in your search by using keywords as well. You could also do an advanced search. So if you click here on advanced search, it will take you to this page where you can be more specific upfront with your search. If you already know exactly what you're looking for, you can type in the word that you're looking for and where you're searching through. So if you're looking based on keyword or by document title or subject, for example, or if it's a person or a company, this is where you can get very specific with your search. You can also select what type of source if you want a full text, if you want a peer-reviewed journal article, uh, you can specify your dates, your document types here, and your content levels. So everything that you already saw in the filters, you can do ahead of time here in the advanced search and click search at the bottom. There is also a publication search. So if you are familiar with the publication that you're looking for, you can type it in here or you can just look through the list of all publications and if there is a publication in particular that you want to use or search through you can select that as well and there is also a topic finder so if I type in for example border wall and do my search it will give me a visual representation for that topic and this is to kind of help me narrow down my research so I can select Mexico for example and it will give me here results for my topic of Mexico there's border security President Trump uh, new sections so different options that I have here I can reset and pick something else like maybe Donald United States and then it'll give me a list of results based on that and I can select 
immigration policy or Mexican-American border region to get more specific and see results there as well. So those are some other tools that you can potentially use in the database as well. And that's pretty much it for Opposing Viewpoints uh, by Gail in Context.